cooking apa? Okay, today I'm going to steam fish using my cast iron pot. Um, it's actually somewhere between steam and um, stew. Now, um, cast iron pot is actually very famous for its waterless dishes. But um, to me, um, I don't really have to always make it waterless, right? I don't mind for this dish to have a bit water uh, so that I can eat my veggie and things together. Now, okay, first of all, make sure your fish is very fresh. Okay, and you wash it thoroughly, especially the kidney, yeah, which is the middle part here. There is uh, some uh, blood stain hidden inside. Wash that thoroughly because that will be the source of the fishiness here. So remember that, okay? And first of all, I've actually applied a very thin layer of oil in the bottom here. And I'm going to put some, uh, some of my uh, spring onion at the bottom. This is to avoid my ingredients being charred and being burnt down there. Okay. Also put a bit of ginger. After this, I'll actually put my uh, some cabbage. You can use any veggie you like. Okay. And has some leftover bell peppers, different colors. I'm going to add something special here, which is the kimchi. Okay, so why am I adding kimchi here? Mainly is because um, usually when we steam a fish, we don't want the fish water. Okay, but since I'm doing this way, there's no way I can remove the fish water, which may carry some fishy smell. So I'm actually going to add in the kimchi, and this kimchi is actually expected to seriously remove those fishy smell from the fishy water okay so this is my secret weapon here yeah how you can see nicely okay after that i'm going to put my fish on top let me see is this angle nice okay it's all right okay and to put some ginger slices on top here give it some white pepper okay and i'm actually adding some chicken stock And this is my homemade, my homemade uh, fish powder. You can, I will put in the link to the fish powder uh, at the end of my video, so that you can, you will know how to do this homemade fish powder. And last but not least, we can give it some garlic oil. top all right okay so we are going to uh, use medium fire and we close the lid and let it cook for minimum 10 minutes okay first time I'm trying this so I'm going to check later at 10 minutes to see whether it's fully cool or not okay we come back shortly Okay, let us check after 10 minutes under medium high heat. Let's see what we got. Ooh, very fragrant. Uh, let me see. The veggie probably needs a few more minutes. The fish is not ready yet. Okay, I can tell from the color of the flesh. But I'm sure everything will be ready in another 5 minutes. So we'll cover the lid and give it another 5-6 minutes. 
then we are all done. Okay, this is after another five, six minutes. Let's see what we got. My fish and veggie is definitely totally cooked. So uh, this is telling us, um, depending on the size of your fish, but next time when you are doing this dish, straight away let it uh, steam for under a medium or medium high heat for at least 15 minutes, then everything should be cooked. Okay, but of course you can adjust yourself accordingly. All right, let me, I forgot to all my light. Okay, and let's give it a few tinge of um, light soya sauce. Okay. All right, here's my uh, steamed fish, or you can call it fish too, and under uh, using uh, cast iron. Okay. Um, if you like my re my video, do share on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page to cook uh, to click above the like and follow button. Um, subscribe to our Cooking Apa YouTube channel and follow Apa on Instagram. All right. Um, the advantage of using cast iron pot is definitely it can actually um, protect and lock in all the natural juices of all your ingredients, including your fish and your veggie. So they all is going to taste, give you some very original uh, taste. All right. Thank you very much. See you all again. Bye bye.